Okay, so I'm gonna try to sneak a little bit of time each day to work on something for myself. So this is the Halo Infinite Battle Rifle. And you can see I've got a box full of pieces, so it's gonna be pretty big. So I'm gonna go over each piece and just see if there's any, any zits or anything on them, just run some 80 grit. And then I'm gonna start painting them with our filler paint. And when I have them all done, either painted or painted and sanded, we'll uh, I'll come back and we'll take a look at a few pieces. Because there's a lot, I think there's 55 pieces in this kit. So that's the next project. Okay, just a quick update on my Halo Infinite Battle Rifle. So I have all the pieces painted. I'm not sure how long that took me. I, I watched the uh, 42 minute episode of Walking Dead and it didn't take the whole thing. So maybe 30 minutes, but a fair, fair amount of time, a lot of painting, a lot of surface area. So now it's time to start sanding. So just a quick little update. I'm probably between a half and a third uh, left to do. Or I'm done, I guess I have over half left to do. So you can see this, uh, this shell. You can see how the paint all fills in. It's filling in the layer lines. And when you have a white or black PLA, you can't really tell until you get some paint on it or you uh, prime it and then it'll show up. But th these would have been all layer lines that pop up as soon as you prime it. But it, it looks so nice to the naked eye until you, until you put some paint on it or primer. So that's just a quick update. I'm in the midst of sanding and I should have this all done pretty soon. And then uh, I have some pieces primed now. So we'll take a look at those when, when I get this finished. So I'm almost done my sanding and then I'm going to go prime these. I just wanted to take a quick look at this just to, to show people how much filler is going in, how, how many, uh, how many layer lines, how, how much, how deep, how wide, so so much filler can stay to smooth these out, but they look really good in white or black. So anyway, just another another peek at uh, at uh, the filler paint. All right, so I have uh, all my halo pieces primed. So they were painted with filler paint, sanded and primed. So we'll take a look at a few, a couple of these cylinders. I always like cylinders. So let me see if I can hold this so you can see, you can see the layer line still. Little subtle layer shifts. Whenever you're printing something tall like this, you know, it's gonna wobble a little bit from the, uh, the print head. So this piece was pretty bad. And if you see um, some writing and things like this, I usually just try to paint around it. So you can see there's some, uh, either I have to uh, dig that out and it's some PLA stuck in that crack, or it was just some, uh, some dust that got sprayed with the primer. So it'd be easy to just fall out. So this piece is looking a lot better. So I'm going to try to fix all this up at the top. These ridges, I assume they're not supposed to be there. Maybe they are, but I don't think so. All right, we'll look at another one. So you can see still a little bit of layer lines. So I'm going to try to smooth that right out. I would be ecstatic if I only had to do two rounds on this, but we'll see. We'll find another cylinder in here. So you can see the layer lines and this was pretty messy in, inside all these you can see some of the PLA inside so I'm gonna get the rest of that out clean it all out and it looks like the piece didn't get uh, I'm not sure if I need to uh, paint that side that might be connected to something I'll take a look at the diagram and see if I even have to bother with that so there you go you can see the layer lines in this one All right, so I'm going to paint all my pieces and sand them, and then maybe we'll take a peek at a few. And oh, here's a, here's a, here's a good one. You can see layer lines pretty good on this one. But uh, 
Yeah, I'll probably do all that anyway, because it, it looks like you won't see it, but you could when it's coming in and out. I assume that's the magnet piece. And that's it. So I'm going to do another full round on these, and then we'll take a look at them here and there. Okay, so I have uh, my pieces either drying for their second round of uh, filler paint, sanding, and priming, or some of them are dry and have them here. I've got my uh, rods already to uh, put it together if I ever get there. So we'll take a look. Now you can see some, some layer lines still in the background of this, and I have to clean out the uh, areas where the screws are and the other thing. But I'm thinking that because this is the handle, that might look all right just to leave a little bit of uh, layering in there. Got to get under here, right there. So it looks like I'm not going to have to do a third round, but I will do some touch-ups. On the top here, I'm not completely happy. So I get that in focus. It could be a little bit smoother. The sides are pretty good. So again, just a touch up. Let's take a look at a couple more pieces. Um, that's the connection, so that doesn't matter because I'm gonna have to sand it all down anyway. I think this guy's pretty good. Maybe a little, well, again, that's the connection, you won't see it. Let's take a look at this piece. So yeah, it's looking pretty smooth. I'll have to dry fit this into place and see if I wanna do some of these areas down here a little more, but I think with a, a sanding and then a coat of paint, I think that'll all disappear. So everything's looking pretty good. Got a few more pieces. I tried to paint around all my all my letters and screws and stuff, so I didn't cover them up. Um, let me give this a wipe, see if that's just stuff stuck to it. Yeah, it's just some things stuck to it. Um, that will be a connection, I believe. So I have to dry fit all this to see where, obviously I don't have to worry too much about this, that's gonna connect to something. So it's all looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna to touch up some pieces and sand them and then we'll take a look at them. And then I will attempt to glue it together. And I'll probably just give it a big coat of black for now until I decide what to do with it. I've seen them all kinds of different colors online. Uh, Galactic Armory, I believe, did theirs in gunmetal. So maybe I'll just get some gunmetal spray and use that. I was thinking about black and then trying to use some of the uh, graphite powder like a Mandalorian helmet, but I think that's going to be just a little bit too silvery, not quite gunmetally enough. I'll, maybe I'll test a small piece and see. All right, there's the update. All right, so I have my uh, pieces. Um, I did the touch-up, so I didn't do a third round. Just did a few touch-ups, and I have them all dry fit together. I'm not sure where this piece goes, but I think it would go right inside here. So when you look through there, you'll see the, the barrel and the rest of the pieces go on. So everything's looking pretty good. So as soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna start gluing these pieces together and then I'm gonna prime it black and then we'll take a, take a look and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm doing a couple of projects at once, like usual, so I can't really remember the last video I, I did of uh, of the halo rifle but i have it almost all epoxy together i used two-part epoxy and it's been sitting probably 24 hours so i got a few more pieces to put on it to finish it off and, and do a little bit of sanding get off some of the epoxy that squirted out i think i might fill this crack right here it's pretty big and when you're holding it you can actually see the dowels through it so i don't like that and this one here i'm going to fill too i think I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with any of the other ones because I assume if this was uh, an actual gun, it would come apart like most guns do in pieces. So I think just those two cracks and I'm going to leave the rest as it is. So that's the update. So I'm going to fill those and sand off the gun, glue on the rest of the pieces, and then we'll take a peek at it. And then I'll probably give it some black primer. All right. So I have my halo rifle and I'm going to, uh, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, but close off this seam a bit so you can't see the dowels inside. So even if it's not smooth, I don't care, just as long as I fill it in and you can't see. This one I'm going to try to smooth out so the handle looks like it's one piece, which it does sort of come in one piece. I had to cut it. So once I get that done, I'm going to uh, wipe it all off with a paper towel and glue on the remaining pieces, and then we'll take a look at it. Then I'm going to prime it black 
and I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, spray paint it gunmetal. I can't decide on the colors. There's so many different colors online. I think I'm just going to go by the, uh, the pictures of the video game itself, or it's pretty much just gunmetal. All right, that's the update. Okay, so I have my Halo Blaster all assembled, and I've put a little bit of filler in the, uh, the uh, big crack that was here. So I don't care if it's perfectly smooth because we have, you know, cracks all along, right? In all, all different places. I just don't want to be able to see the dowel through it. It was just too big. And I did a little patch up here on this. So hopefully that'll come out pretty good. So this will all look like one piece up on top. And I'm going to dust it all off. Get, uh, wipe it off, I should say, with a paper towel. And then I think I'm going to put some black on it and see how it looks. So that's the update on the Halo rifle. All right, so I have my rifle back and I put some black on it. And that's the nice thing, like I mentioned before in my videos, when you're doing something for yourself, there's no pressure, right? You don't have to be perfect and you can kind of do whatever colors you want. So this was pretty fun to make. I might give it another color and if I do, I'll tack it on to the end of this video. If the video ends here, I haven't decided yet, but it was pretty simple to do, right? You just paint the parts, sand them, prime them, and then repeat, and glue them together, and you got yourself a, a beautiful halo rifle. All right, so deciding now whether to paint it or not. So I think I'm done with my halo rifle. It's nice when Halloween season's over and you have some time, you can make some things for yourself. So I shot a little gun metal on this, and I'm pretty happy. I think it's pretty good, so that will bring this video to an end. Nice, uh, smooth rifle to run around the neighborhood with.